simply more forums, more squares that the emperors built to celebrate themselves. <laughs> it's just a matter of self-celebration, okay? For example, the Octavian Augustus Forum was built to celebrate what Octavian Augustus did, of course. The Trian Forum, the same, was built to celebrate Trian himself. But, uh, what about Men at Work on the left? Not Men at Work, the famous <laughs> band, okay? <laughs> From the 80s. No? Yeah. Uh, actually, they've been working on uh, extending uh, the third metro line, the line C of the okay. metro, to the other side of the city, because it, it just gets here at the moment. Okay? Right. But I think that when I'll be dead, they'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> Still working on it. <laughs> Welcome to the land of bureaucracy. on the fence. Yeah. There was so much more to me. to say, uh, I've already told you, what about the forum, what a forum used to be, etc. Anyway, uh, imagine the Roman Forum as the hugest, the hugest and oldest public square of the ancient Rome. So it means no one used to live here, okay? All the richest, the people, the so-called patricians, live on top of the seven hills. Because Rome is so famous to have seven hills, and the Palatine Hill is among the seven. That's the place where I will bring you later, okay? You see the terrace up there? Mm -hmm. uh, that is gonna be such a wonderful place to let you take wonderful pictures, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you talented photographers? Especially, I guess, women are. This one is. This one is. <laughs> women are usually more skilled than men in creating social media content. Is it true? That's true. We Taking try. care of Instagram accounts, no, Facebook, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, all the richest people lived on the high hills. Instead, common people live in totally different buildings. Ruins of the ancient temple of the Julius Caesar. Okay, if you go beyond temple of Julius the Caesar. In the middle, uh, you would see uh, ruins of the original altar where Caesar has been cremated. Hmm. Was cremated. Huh? Have you seen how many coins on it? Yeah. Coins and flowers. Because yeah. people still pay tribute to the Divus Julius. Throwing coins or flowers or something. Go for it. Uh, it's just the way to celebrate Caesar himself. Hmm. Hmm. Not by accident, it's the only part of any temple still perfectly preserved. Exactly, um, I meant to say before, here are just a few fragments, marble fragments, pieces of capitals and columns, mm -hmm. uh, not related to the place where they stand. 
Got it. They were just put down here. Yeah, so we could see them. Exactly. Marble. 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 Marble, marble is smoother than the stone. For example, than the travertine. Travertine is a, that type of rock the ancient Romans used to construct the Colosseum itself. And here is just an archaeological or a historical movie set. Or right, set right, 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 right. As you like more. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me show you two more complexes here. The one in front of us. Well, every time I get used to say all the times, uh, this complex um, helps us to realize what's the real essence of this of, of the temple. Look at the ruins of an ancient temple. The main road still running through the Roman Forum. Here it is. The original cobblestone road from the area. Actually, this is not exactly a cobblestone road, but don't worry, because um, after walking a few meters forward, <laughs> I will let you see that, okay? But let me say, uh, this has always been the huge, uh, the, the main road running through the Forum. Uh, that road that the ancient Romans used to walk through it when they came back to town after winning important military campaigns. Imagine them while coming back to town and doing that sort of triumphal parade. Imagine what colorful and long a parade that used to be, uh, led by the, gener the army general and followed by all the Roman soldiers, the so-called uh, legions, and all the chariots uh, transporting the treasures and all the slaves from the new territories. There must have been a real show. Yes, a celebration. Yes. Yes. They used to walk through the road where we're standing here and ending their parade on top of um, on the top of an emperor lived in the same time in the same period of Constantine not by accident they fought each other in the battle of Milvian Bridge in the battle of the Milvian Bridge and Constantine won the battle and that's that, when he saw the the sun or the moon or something that convinced him to be Christian. Very good, like very a, good. I remember some things. Because <laughs> you've been in the Vatican Museum and probably you remember of what Raphael, Raphael Fresco yes. painted. Yes. Because masons and architects and engineers have always built the modern structures on top of the past So increasing the street level five, six meters higher than this. Be careful here because the, the cobblestone road is very cool uh, from the historical point of view, but not so comfortable to walk on, actually. <laughs> They didn't have shock absorbers back yeah. then. If you want to fill up any bottles with good oil, you could do that. Olive tree. So bringing back, yeah. bringing back <laughs> home bring back a couple of knowledge. oil bottles. <laughs> Italian oil bottles. Would you like to get in? Yes. Get in the get in the building. Sure. Yeah. Let's get there. I was forgetting to say, welcome everybody to the Masanctus Basilica. Wow. The place we were seeing before while walking through the Via de Fori Imperiali. Okay, when you said what it is, no? Uh, you were seeing something like um, a niche, no? Yeah. Or an apse. Technically, it's defined an apse, no? From outside. Now we're standing inside the building. Yeah. 
take your time for the pictures. Impressive, isn't it? How tall is that? Thirty meters. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't tell you. Um, the Titus Arch or the Arch of Titus. Titus, Flavian dynasty, Flavian family, the same family who has built the Colosseum. Vespasian, Mr. Vespasian, first of Vespasiano, uh, having two kids, Titus and Domitian. Domitian okay? So, this is a triumphal arch, one of the three triumphal arches around here that Domitian built in memory of his older brother Titus after the Roman conquest of the Judea, the present Israel, okay, in the first century AD, with the prophets coming from the, milita the, 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 uh, the Judean military campaign, Romans built, were, were able to build such an arch and part of the Colosseum over there. So I was wondering where they came up with the funds to build something like this. Yeah, the funds came from the military. Anyway, look at the second marble relief, one more high marble relief displaying another Roman parade led by Mr. Titus himself while riding a chariot pulled by four horses. That's a quadriga. Quadriga, the typical Roman chariot. Have you seen, the, have you watched the film Ben-Hur? Yeah. It was about all the horse races around the track and all the riders used to challenge with that kind of chariot. Quadriga, because quattro from Latin means four. So just a chariot pulled by four horses. One more thing, look at, I don't think anyone says. Time Hill. in the background. I think that's the best location you could ever have. Yes, that's true. Thank you. 
You've not so far from each other. No, no, yeah, yeah. You've said this a couple times, but yeah. that three arched building is what again? Uh, what is the building? The basilica, the basilica, the basilica of Massentius. La basilica di Massentio, the Massentius Basilica. Got it. Massentio. It's written Massentio, Massentius. Milizie. Milizie. I got one more thing to put you on the spot. Sure. That's the altar of the gods, right? The Is altar? The wedding cake? or L'altare people... della patria. What was that built for? To celebrate the Italian unification. That's it. The Italian unification happened in the, in the late 1800s. You know, England has been unified earlier than any other country in the 1600s, but Italy has just unified in the 1800s. Late 1800s. Gotcha. So previously, it was just a country divided in several small kingdoms. The Papal State was in the center. The whole central part of the country was ruled by the Popes. That's why there was no Vatican. We just can call it as the Vatican State only since the 30s of the last century, wow. when the Italian King and the Pope in charge at that time settled an agreement according which both states would have been independent, each one having its own political and administrative autonomy. So, speaking easily, <laughs> the Vatican State is just a very small country right. included in a bigger one. Right. In Italy, you know, in the Italian state. Okay. St. Peter, Peter Square is not the Vatican. It's not Vatican State. It's the Roman district. Not by accident. The Italian police is responsible for security all around the square. But if you go beyond the walls, if you... Yeah, if you go beyond the... Not the walls, the, the columns surrounding the square, everything would depend on the Vatican security, the Vatican police. Okay. okay. So standing on the square, no, standing in the square, um, you would be able to see the Angelus, the papal blessing. Okay. Well, coming okay. every Sunday morning at 12 o'clock. You know, a lot of people get there every Sunday to enjoy the papal blessing. Right. Uh, while the Pope stares at the window, uh, the highest floor of that window, uh, highest floor, second window from right to left. Okay, if you get there, you would see that. And uh, the Pope, Pope Francis, just blesses the people from such a, such a window. Okay, but he doesn't live there. He doesn't live in the same building that I've just mentioned. Oh, he doesn't. No, absolutely. Uh, all the popes have lived in in the in the Apostolic Palace. It's called like that, the Apostolic pa Palace. But actually, Pope Francis made a different choice and has decided to live in a different place compared with all the past the popes. Yes. Look at all the locks on there. What's with all these locks? You know? Love. Anyway, when you see externally parts of bricks, you can't go wrong. You're just looking at modern reconstructions. All the bricks were put there in the early 1800s because the Colosseum has always consisted of travertine blocks. Travertine, okay, that type of rock. Travertine is a limestone originally coming from Tivoli, a small town located a few miles from the capital. And back in the centuries, Romans built a road 
in order to connect the travertine quarry in, tra in, in Tivoli oh, to the capital, transporting all the travertine okay. blocks uh, used for the, constru the Colosseum construction. Imagine lots of sleighs pulled by horses. Sorry, buddy. Do you see the Roman, all the Roman numbers? Sorry. Do you see all the Roman numbers engraved on top of the arches? Oh, you yeah. see that? Yes. What's the reason why? Entrance numbers? A gate number? <laughs> gate number five? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let it. me see. Yeah. Uh, there was no price to pay to get in. Every Roman family used to have their own identification number. So once here, they had to check it out, uh -huh. and uh, they had to check their own identification number corresponding to all the numbers engraved on every arch, so that they were able to realize what was the right entrance for all of them. Like going to a football exactly. state. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing you said before. Yeah, yeah, the gate number. Gate number. Uh, Try to guess. Fifteen, not fifteen. Fifteen. Any more ideas? I like this type of interaction. It's make the tour more interesting. What do you think? I'd say, I'd say, clo I'd say ten. Ten. You think ten? Ten years. I think fifty. Yeah. I'd say fifty years. Any more ideas? How long did it take to build all this? How long? Yeah. Try to guess. You see the columns? 45 years. 45, 50, 15, 10 years. 75. And how many, how many slaves? Nobody, nobody knows. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I can answer how many years? Just eight years. Eight? Oh, yeah. Eight years to build it? That was close. It's more long than we have. Just to recycle the metal. Yeah. Wow. Well, guys, let me say one more thing. Colosseum? Colosseum is a technically called the Flavian Amphitheater. The Flavian dynasty is the one who built it. Vespasiano, Tito, Domitiano, Vespasian, Titus, and Domitian. What about the amphitheater? Imagine an ancient theater from antiquity and a horseshoe-shaped building like that. If you get another theater and try to merge both of them, you would get an elliptical-shaped building like this, used for many different types of entertainment, such as gladiator fights, animal hunts, uh, executions of men condemned to death, and in the end, Naumachia. Naumachia from Latin means naval battle. Imagine. Present day
there's an elevator. from their own school to the Colosseum on the ground. Giù, eh? Ti aspettiamo giù. Welcome, guys. Perfect. Here you are. Ready for the video? It's already, it's already running. I mean, uh, how often? You know, just a few companies treat the underground area. I mean, just a few companies, just a few tour operators give the people the chance to visit the underground. Wow. Most of them, most of them don't sell the visit of the Colosseum, including the underground. That's why I'm happy you're here and right. you booked this type of tour specifically. Right. You present the whole thing. Yeah. Enjoy, guys. Here to the monument. Caps. No, you're fine. I leave you that. Go, go, please. I don't want to stand in front of you guys. <laughs> their school to the Colosseum underground. Hmm? Well, I think we can move on. Oh. Oh. So guys, here are a few elements perfectly reconstructed by hand. The helmets by the original You've seen how many different type of gladiators used to fight yeah. in the Colosseum, you know, back in the century. What you can see in this area is just the man who the can start to the An Italian craftsman dealt with every single Roman armor. I have to say, each one of them was reconstructed in details. What do you think? Pretty impressive. Impressive. Certainly, I have a lot of certain designs that certain or whatever. Yeah. 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 Y
from the top, from the bottom to the top. Yeah, all the way. Yeah, all the way. That's good. So, I just want to make you see the first very interesting environment of the underground. Okay. So, guys, you remember when I mentioned the Namaki, the, the fake naval battles? Okay. So let's start to let's start understanding better the things I said. You see this tunnel in front of us? Ti faccio passare? Eh no, se vai di là, vai prima l'ascensore? Ok, comunque mi fermo lì, mi fermo lì. Vado all'ascensore, ok, ok. Allora li porto. Grazie cara. Uh, she just said us to enjoy the elevator, because I will let you see a reconstructed elevator, okay, to, to make you realize how the backstage used to work. But first of all, look at the tunnel in front of us. This was a special tunnel where small boats, all the small boats involved in the naval battles were assembled, were set up, okay? Look at these openings, because all the sailors and fighters came out from them, jumping on board right here, <laughs> so that they were able to fight, to start the fights. The same happened on the other side of the underground, because there's an equivalent environment, like this one. So, um, a few boats started from here. More boats started from the other side, and all the boats, all the ships, converged to the middle to make the naval battles possible. Wow. Did you understand? We're in a few. Okay. Not a real sewer, because uh, this was just uh, uh, an atrium, an atrium of the... Watch my head go through it smoothly. <laughs> you, see, you see guys, what I said before. On every corridor, there were a lot of elevators, okay? You see all the holes in the ground? In the holes were put all the poles around which the lifts, the, the elevators were organized, okay? Were set up. Hey, CA. Never fake never bottles. What is sure? Well, guys, I've got a question for you. Okay? Una pregunta. I've got a question for you. So, what's the reason why here is a larger corridor walking through the middle of the arena floor? Try to guess. Animals. Chariots. Not, cha not chariots, but. Horses. She said probably. Animals. You mean animals? Yeah. Lions. Let yes. Let me say, a larger corridor was built here, mm -hmm. okay, to set up <laughs> this part of the arena floor, larger <laughs> elevators, okay, to bring up all the bigger animals, okay, so that even the the animal hunts were possible. Yeah. Of course, uh, bigger elevators were needed to bring up. The animals, the exotic animals coming from uh, Africa, 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 all the world discovered and conquered until that moment. You know, all that blood and violence were part of the political the inheritance of Africa. Exactly, because all the people had to be impressed by the same thing. Uh, those type of shows. Gore. Even, yeah. This is of bricks. Okay? But bricks still are such a light material. So, to sustain the weight of the arena floor, even large stone blocks were needed here. That's why you're seeing a significant alternation of uh, lights, um, light bricks and stone pillars supporting the weight of the arena up there. Sì, sì, sì. Sì, ma che sono in prova, sto già qui. 
Go. Siberia. Right, right, right. We, we, we cannot go down on our own. But as you saw, uh, you got me as your tour guide. Well, that's, I thought that's probably why she grabbed you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have, She's blushing. Yeah, I have to... I have to respect the roles. <laughs> yes. Anyway, you've seen the same, the equivalent environment that we've seen before. You remember when I said there will be an equivalent environment on the other side of right. the other side. Right. So uh, a few ships started from the other side. See, uh, more ships from here and all the ships used to converge to the middle of the arena. And now Maquille or naval battles could start. Well guys, all around here are a lot of structures, reconstructed stru modern and contemporary structures. I mean, I think it's clearly visible that those bricks, for example, up there, right. are contemporary, okay? Mm -hmm. right. They look, they really look more modern than the others we've seen before. Right. Because the contemporary bricks were produced respecting the same production technique used for the previous ones, the original ones. You know, uh, this environment where we stand now mm -hmm. was almost completely rebuilt to give the people the chance to come here and enjoy that. Okay, like it's, the, it's a reparation, like for this side, there's two, two kinds of, uh, of bricks. And, mm -hmm. like, it's a reparation during, during yeah. years. Yeah. yeah, those are contemporary bricks, okay? They're not original. They were put up there, okay. as I said before, to, to, to give us the chance to, to make this place enjoyable and visible, okay? Because okay. probably it was more damaged oh, okay. than uh, the, other, the other parts we visited before. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But there's... That's true. Yeah. Well, guys, now uh, we'll walk around here and, uh, and then we'll get to the other side of the arena, okay? The reconstructed arena. Okay, so that, believe me, that is the best spot ever in the Colosseum, okay? So you'll be able to take one of the pictures. How many more stairs are in there? How many stairs? Presently. Black. And a tour. And uh, so. Uh, there's only one upper floor, yeah, yeah. okay? But back in the century, imagine something like five or six different floors. Five or six. How was high? Now, what's the difference between the original arena floor and the second one? Six, seven meters higher than the floor. Also, uh, don't forget that there was a chance to look down as we're doing now. Because everything has been co exactly has been, everything has been covered with the arena from that side to the other side. And all what happened down there was invisible. Excuse me. Okay. Only the slaves and gladiators, while preparing to go up, were down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once again, time machine. <laughs> we gotta get back in time. Da, 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 da. Back to the future. You remember back to oh, who, you? Yeah. who will you is in the news? 80s once again. Anyway, modern age, the Pope, Benedict XIV, mm -hmm. consecrated this building to the Passion of Christ. And he installed the 12 stations of the cross all around the arena. That's the only surviving station. What's the reminiscence of what the Pope did back in the centuries? The Via, the Via Crucis coming here every single year, every Good Friday. The Pope comes here in the Colosseum and emulates thus the Via Crucis, stepping into all the 12 stations of the cross. While a lot of people enjoy the event, outside the building and watching that on through screen. series of screens, exactly. Huh. 
every time we want to comprehend what was in the past, what's happening in the present, in our present, we gotta go back to the past. This is why I study history. Yeah. Oh, that's a good shape. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So much. But, but, I, but I guess you, you feel a little bit tired. So I don't want to talk a lot. Let's we were late like, because there was a gas leak in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. For a bed. What was that? Yeah. If you walk down the street and look down, you will see the ruins of 12, 13 apartments where they lived, while in the middle, ruins of a smaller arena than this one in the house, where they trained, practiced. practiced. They lived here. Absolutely. Thank you. They, they have to be a certain age. They have to be a certain age. Greta, Miss Greta Thunberg. You know Greta Thunberg? Yes. She is most famous than the Pope right now. <laughs> so I, I guess if she would have lived in the in the ancient Rome, I'm sure she really would have been happy to know all so this is the recycling that Romans did. These were the statues from the Colosseum exterior. And uh, so these are just the combo statues because most of the times the heads were taken from different bodies and then combined together. Recycling, recycling, recycling. Greta Thunberg ruled, even in the past. <laughs> Some more interaction among us, first of all. 
the model scale of the Colosseum, a magnificent building consisting of three levels and an attic up there. What the beams, what the beams at the, at the highest floor were used for? Lightning. Hold up the roof. Lightning. Lightning. Any more ideas? Flags. Flags. Even if it's out of the roof, it doesn't matter. Any idea? What, what, the beams, what the beams were used for? The beams up there? And for roof. Roof. Okay. Birds. Birds. We, women rule, as usual. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. I, yeah, to be honest, he said first. He said <laughs> first. <laughs> anyway, so good though. anyway. <laughs> Sorry. You're all very good. You're all very good. Uh, more even more precisely, imagine a real retractable awning, protecting all the spectators on the grandstands from the sun and rain, all the atmospheric agents. But. Uh, Let's make one step back. Imagine first the fleet of Misena, a team of sailors, all those guys while standing at the basement of the building, pulling or releasing ropes connected to each one of the poles up there. So doing that, they were able to open or close that retractable awning that just Hey, that's the Olympic Stadium. That's the way it was. So, what I mean to say, yeah, genius, what I mean to say, uh, once again, once again, what we do today with technology, they did with slaves, if you remember of the ancient elevators from the underground, or sailors in this case. Wow. You know, probably sailors were more practical than others in operating the ropes and something like that. What is that? Steps to get up steps. there. For That's the... right. Steep steps. We could could we say like that? Yes. Steep steps. Original steps. Vomitoria. From Latin. Vomitoria. You heard correctly from the act of vomiting. Vomitoria. But in this case, we're not talking about vomiting, of course. <laughs> starting the old, starting the older languages, we got we we we're able to go deep inside the real meaning of the words. We're not talking about vomiting, of course, but we try to imagine something like the people's flow while going up or coming down. So that's why I really, I really care of yeah. being here. Everything I say. Well, you've been really good at answering the questions. So. More steps. More steps. More ascending steps. More vomitoria. Vomitoria, yeah. So we're going outside again, and uh, you'll enjoy another beautiful spot. Take more pictures, whatever you want. So I usually, guys, um, meet the people at this level because it's not allowed to do back and forth. So I, I um, leave the people the chance to stay more or any longer or to enjoy a souvenir shop like here or even to leave this place walking down the okay but if i if i if i leave you down there uh, you wouldn't have more no more chance to, to go up again Is it really? Yeah. So we can keep on walking or? Yeah. 